it's very important to diagnose MS early and to get people on effective treatment early. Time is brain. So this is very important. MS has gotten complex. Treatment choices have gotten complex. So if there's any issue at all, I would recommend you use your local MS center or MS expert, even if they're just going to see the patient one time, uh, to make sure that the diagnosis is correct and to use the full panoply of knowledge about choosing the best disease-modifying therapy. It's an optimal opportunity. You don't want to screw that up. You don't want to pick a wrong DMT, waste time, waste central nervous system. So these are very important concepts and to partner uh, with somebody who really uh, deals with MS all the time and is very familiar with all of the options I think can be in the best interest of MS individuals. We know that there's a delay in diagnosis of uh, MS, and maybe we haven't been sufficiently uh, strong in getting the word out there uh, to all physicians that may be seeing patients that are not neurologists. So things like not ignoring somebody who said, I had numbness and tingling on a body part that lasted a couple of days and then went away, that's probably not a pinched nerve. In a young woman, that can be a first attack of relapsing MS. So I think there's important education that can be done about some of the warning signs of early MS uh, so that they can be recognized and these individuals can be sent on quickly for diagnosis and therapy. Diagnosing early, not so much when, by the time they come to see us, but you see that things were missed by other people it was missed, and they really could have been diagnosed much earlier. And the current thinking is the earlier you treat, the better the outcome. So you would really like to identify people at that, at that CIS, at that clinically isolated syndrome, and have them on treatment within three to six months of their first attack. That would be considered early uh, treatment. And, and I think people really need to be thinking about MS because Early identification and early treatment appears to be extremely important in optimizing your long-term outcome.